How's it going, everybody? It is I, Visual. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day, and welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle versus Kevin over here in the RU tier. Gonna be doing RU today because uh, I didn't really have too much NU battles, so I'll have to do maybe some more Wi-Fi battle streams to get some more. So anyways, uh, this is a team I actually made. I feel like the only teams I make nowadays are in RU or PU because, uh, I don't know, I just really enjoy the, those tiers a lot, especially uh, PU, but it's just fun. And RU right now, because every time I build a team for RU, it just works. I don't know why, <laughs> like, it just works for me, but this is a team I made when Mega Sceptile actually dropped, so it was a little while ago. Uh, I switched Mega Sceptile out for, like, Rotom Mo. I sometimes use Rizion. I think Rizion might be better with Z-Move. But I felt like I wanted to try something a little bit different and uh, try different Mons out because I'm tired of using the same Mons over and over again. Just like in OU, it kind of got a little stale, to be honest. So, but I still have fun with it. I just want to, I just want to use different Mons. But yeah, this is a Spadef Marowak. I wanted to try it out. People say Marowak might even drop to NU because not a lot of people use it, but I don't know how uh, true that is because I haven't been playing too much RU. I've just been playing it uh, a little frequently, trying teams out here and there, maybe a game or two. But um, yeah, I just uh, get rid of that Galvantula as he goes in a Zygarde, and I just have Sticky Webs, and uh, I could just defog them away because I have defog on my Florges with uh, Wish, Moonblast, and Protect Max Defense. I wanted to use Max Defense Florges because it just takes hits for days. It does not go down. Um, I think the standard set doesn't have Max Defense. They have a lot of speed on it. But um, I didn't think I really wanted that speed because I'm running a different kind of floor. Just most floor just like to have toxic and stuff, and uh, I think synthesis as well. But I like a wish passer on this team. Um, sometimes you might see aromatherapy as well. So in comes a Steelix as Zygarde actually tried to drag dance up, but I mean I guess he doesn't know the power of floor just and he just switches out. So I did see he wasn't um, expect me to have floor just had switching. I don't know. Maybe he just thought that he can claim a kill with the Dragonium Z Zygarde if he was running that. Because Adamant Zygarde, Dragonium Z can uh, pack a punch. But uh, he gets his rocks up as uh, Rotom actually has Defog as well. So that's pretty cool. Dual Defog. I like to have two Defoggers sometimes. Or two Stealth Rockers. It can come in handy as he brings in the Drapion. And I'm just going to hard switch because I don't want to take a hit. Melodic is a pretty good switch in. Really defensive. I could take pretty much anything. Even if a Swords Dance is up, I could take a hit. Uh, I could throw off maybe a Scald, maybe a Haze, stuff like that. Unless he's like Poison MZ or Dark MZ, Malak should be able to take it on relatively well. Also, I could just like maybe predict him to the, click the Z move and go for a cover, but that'd be risky because what if he sort his answers up again? So, anyways, he switches out on Serena as I switch into Drapion. I kind of predict him to want to switch out. I don't think he'd want to stay in. And uh, over here, I can just go for the Aqua Tail as I predict him to switch out into Steelix because it was a little risky play, but I feel like that. He would probably want to switch in Steelix on a Drapion, and this is Banded Drapion, uh, Jolly Nature, and that did zero to Steelix. I mean, obviously, because Mega Steelix has amazing defense, so it just makes sense. But I'm just going to go right back into Rotom. He could have Toxic, maybe predict me to switch out, but he just goes for the rocks again. Now, over here, he could predict me to Defog again, um, as he does just switch out, so maybe he was fearing a uh, will or maybe a Grass MZ, which I am running, uh, or maybe just Toy Specs, but I just go out for the will o -Wisp. Uh, because I feel like I just want to burn something coming in as he does go into Serena, which is nice to burn it But at the same time, maybe I would rather have a toxic on it, but uh, burning it would be nice Maybe if I want to take a trap kick or um, a power whip from the Serena because it could be doing a lot of damage If I want to stay in with Melodic or something like that, but he actually has aromatherapy on there I was like, well, okay, that's cool. So it's a really bulky Serena probably aromatherapy like rapid spin uh, probably Trop Kick and some other moves. I'm not too sure. Serena has a lot of good moves that I can run. But, that's cool. I mean, at least Aromatherapy only has, like, I think 8 PP, so... I can just throw off another Wisp as he actually goes into Hoopa. So, this is perfect for me. I can just go right into my Drapion. Hopefully he doesn't, like, throw off a Fight EMZ and just, like, bop me. I don't know if I get knocked out, but... I'm just full switch on him. And, uh, obviously he's not Choice Scarf because I outsped him, so that's good to know. But usually Hoopa might just be like substitute, maybe Nast Paw, stuff like that. Uh, I've seen some Calm Minders here and there. You don't really see Hoopa too, too much though in RU, but it's really nice. I like Hoopa a lot. It's just uh, a little bit too frail and it gets Pursuit Trapped pretty easily as uh, Drapion comes in here and just Pursuit Traps. So he tried to switch out, but unfortunately to his uh, avail that it will just get knocked out by the Pursuits. So good old Banded Drapion. I like it a lot. Gotta be careful though because uh, Drapion 
is not the fastest Pokemon, and you might run into a Pokemon like Espeon with Fairy MZ, and it starts Calm Minding up. Could be a problem, because I think Calm Mind can one-shot you when you're at plus one with Espeon on a Drapion. If I'm not running a Soul Vest or any, like, HP, which I'm not. But, um, yeah, I just got a Melodic on the Drapion. That was close. He could have knocked me out if he got, like, a crit right there, since he has Cross Poison. Man, what's with these critting Drapions nowadays that I'm running to on Wi-Fi? But, hey, I guess if you want to get that nice crit, it could work. So, luckily I could just recover up, recover up a Melodic, because Melodic, that's just what it does. It recovers and scalds you and hazes you, so... I guess he's trying to just crit me over here or get a poison. I think it's a 10% chance for both of them to happen. But unfortunately, he gets nothing, and I just throw off a Scald, maybe hoping for a burn, and unfortunately, I do not get it. So he actually just switches out over here into the Serena. And Serena could get a burn as well if I um, get the 30% chance as well, which would be nice. And then he'd probably be forced to go for Aromatherapy, and then I can get a free switch in on something. So no burn, unfortunately, on the Serena. Uh, takes barely anything from that, so it's probably really really bulky I would say and usually Serena bandit I would run into but I guess this guy really wanted a uh, you know a bulky Serena which is nice I like bulky Serenas I think Serena can even run synthesis as well just to get that recovery and has U-turn as well but he brings in Zygarde over here as I switch into Rotom uh, nice little double right there but unfortunately I am not gonna stay in uh, I kind of scared of Dragonium Z if he does have that. So I'm just going to go right back into Florida just as he just throws off a Dragon Dance. So good plan on his part, trying to predict me to switch out, but um, Florida just will take this easily. Even if you're like Groundium Z, Florida just will live it. Max defense. Florida just is a bulky monster. <laughs> and I like it a lot. I like Florida just. It's honestly one of my favorite Pokemon to use. Uh, I wanted to use this team with Florida just because I remember building, like, I built it real quick. Built it real quick. But I remember it was like one of the few Pokemon that could take a Mega Sceptile hit and modest Mega Sceptile at that. But you got to be careful of like Spikes offense because uh, switching in on Spikes could be a problem. But um, this is like one of the few Pokemon that could switch in. And I remember I wanted to use like a Spadef, a Blola Marowak, uh, mainly for any like Mega Sceptile. I mean, it can switch on Mega Sceptile, but Dragon Pulse is a thing uh, as well. But it's really nice. I just want to try it out because it's good for, you know. Electric types in the tier, like Rotom Heat. Uh, Rotom Mo as well. Can get up rocks. It's pretty bulky. Just really nice to have Lightning Rod and Electric Immunity. So, I wanted to try it out. And a Fighting Immunity as well. But uh, this team is pretty weak. I would say to Frizion with a Rocky MZ. Because it's just really, really fast and really strong hitting. You don't have a Choice Scarf on this team. And uh, if I did switch Rotom Mo out for Frizion, you could potentially speed time it with it. So, I think Frizion would be a lot better, like I said. So, anyways, bring him Melodic back on the Drapion, and I'm just going to throw off some Scalds and hope to knock it out. Yeah, so uh, he's just praying to probably crit me and trying to get a poison. But, unfortunately, that is not going to work. So maybe if he had, like, Swords Dance, he could potentially do something with the Drapion. Usually, Swords Dance Drapion have, uh, like, Wadium Z, though, with uh, Aqua Tail. It's pretty nice, but I don't know. He could run, like, Poison Z as well. That could be interesting. So, or Ground Z, but I think uh, Wadium Z is more common. So, uh, he switches out right there, because I think um, Wadium Z kind of hits more Pokemon, either way. And uh, I can just throw off another Scald, 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 with Melodic, as he just goes into Serena. And this just gives me a free switch into, like, maybe Rotom, if I want to go into that. Uh, I can throw off some Wisp and stuff like that, and just burn everything, cripple everything. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And if he doesn't want to go into Steelix, then I can just Grassy MZ it. Uh, so he just throws off a Trop Kick. That's going to do absolutely nothing to my Rotom since uh, I do resist it, and it does not matter if you lower my attack since I'm a special attacker. So, even though I can't really do much to Serena for Rotom, as long as I can just like maybe waste all its aromatherapies, that's what I'll do, and just burn it. But uh, he actually switches out Steelix over here as I just throw off a Wisp, and now I should be able to hopefully knock out the Steelix with a Grass MZ after burn damage. I think it's always a 100% chance, unless maybe if he's max special defense he could maybe live, probably. But... I feel like whenever I use Grass MZ Rotom, it never knocks out a Pokemon. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, in my experience at least. But finally, it gets to knock out something. Because, uh, spoiler alert, it's gonna knock out the Steelix with the Bloom Doom. So, good job, Rotom. Well, but honestly, like I said, I'd rather use Virizion. Because Virizion is just so much better, in my opinion. Faster, stronger, with Sora's Dance, he can boost up. Z Movers with boosting moves are really, really nice. Uh, you can run even, like, Psych MZ or Rock MZ. Or Fight MZ. Or Grass MZ. That's the beauty thing. Beautiful thing about Vrizion. 
But yeah, brings in Drapion right there. I'm just going to switch out. I don't want to take a poison move. I'm just going to go into Escavalier. One of my favorite Pokemon to use. I remember I wanted to use Bandit Escavalier because it just hits so dang hard. I was thinking about running Pursuit on this, but I already have Pursuit Drapion. Because I wanted to Pursuit at like everything on this team. Uh, but because I remember, I don't know, I just, when I first had Frizion on this, Frizion really appreciates getting rid of those uh, Psychic types and on the other bulky Pokemon that might want to be... Uh, get chipped away by trying to switch out like bronze on I guess as well I uh, wanted to pursue those guys as well but uh yeah I wanted to use uh, I think a little bit of speed on this Escavalier as well just to outspeed Mega Slowbro I think because Mega Horn does a ton when Mega Slowbro was in this tier but those guys are gone now so it doesn't even matter but I don't know might as well just show it off this team because it's still good obviously because I'm still using it even without those Pokemon in the tier um but yeah, Serena actually lives that, so that's pretty impressive, even after um, a Scavalier's massive attack. But I guess that's a bulky Serena, and I think he even lowered my attack as well with Tropkick or something like that. So he does have the senses, as I'm just going to go for another Mega Horn. And I think uh, the Drapion wasn't really doing too much as well. Like, he needed something for that Drapion. Uh, just put some more oomph into it, like some more power. I don't know. I like more power. But anyways, uh, we got another battle versus the Smasher. He has potentially a screen team with Espeon, I was thinking. With uh, maybe Swordsance, Vizion, uh, Belly Drum, Linoon, probably Rapid Spin, Blastoise. Me Mega Blastoise is probably one of the most used Pokemon in RU. And then Gligar, probably Rocks, I would guess. Uh, probably like Earthquake, Roost, stuff like that. So I'm expecting him to probably want to lead off with like Rotom, maybe Volt Switch or something like that, but I have the Marowak. Could lead off with Gligar, maybe get Rocks up, stuff like that, or Blastoise, maybe Espeon, but he actually leads off a of Linoon. I'm like, okay, that's a weird lead. I don't expect Linoon ever as a lead, but okay. Um, I expect him to switch out. I just want to go for a Wisp, though. It's just an off chance he does want to stay in. I'll just Wisp it. But I don't want to get Rocks up because he still has the Blastoise. That's an easy switch in, and uh, he just wraps them away if I get Rocks up. So that pretty much be like a wasted turn for me so might as well get some chip damage up on the Blastoise so I'm gonna go to Melodic over here on the Blastoise really easy switch in Blastoise can't really do too much to Melodic uh, at all really it's pretty much always hard walled uh, unless maybe Blastoise has rest and can potentially like toxic it the Melodic and hope that Melodic doesn't have refresh then possibly because Melodic will just toxic it back and has recover more reliable recovery uh, and sometimes Melodic will have Refresh to just get rid of status moves, which I like. I like to get rid of those because it helps with the rack with a trapping uh, with Spider Whip. So, in comes the Verizion, hoping to get a burn on this, but unfortunately no burn. I feel like I never get these burns of Scald nowadays with Melodic, but it's okay. Uh, Verizion is a big problem for my team. Not gonna lie, like, it's gonna Swords Dance up over here. I was gonna go into Marowak because I think I have a shot to live plus two Stone Edge. Unless he's Rock EMZ, he might want to go for that and uh, hope to not miss. But uh, maybe I should put more defense on this Marowak to potentially live a hit from Verizion. So unfortunately he misses that Stone Edge as I go for the Wisp right there and hit him and burn him in half his attack. So that is huge because Marowak might have gotten knocked out by that. I don't know. I forget the calcs. I could have it right now, but I'm already recording. But uh, judging from that regular Stone Edge, I think Sword Plus 2 would easily just one-shot Marowak. Uh, so that would be a huge problem. I'd have to go into maybe like Florigis and... Uh, maybe Moonblast and hope that that could do something because I know Floor just will live at least one plus two uh, Leaf Blade. But maybe he's like Grass MZ or Fight MZ and not Rock MZ, so he had to go for the Stone Edge and maybe he can blow back my Floor just with the Grass MZ if it does. Um, he might just be Fight MZ as well. Like, you never really know what Z move Frizion's really running. But I would say probably Rock MZ. But he should have went for it if he did have it. So he goes for another Swords Dance as he just throws off the Leaf Blade. So maybe he is Rock MZ, but you just don't want to click it. Because um, if he was Grass MZ, he would have clicked right there, or maybe he's just fighting Z, and he had no chance of clicking the Z move, because, you know, Ghost type and then Forge is resisted. So I just throw off a Wish, and, uh, man, that Leaf Blade did zero, <laughs> not gonna lie, because that was plus two Leaf Blade, I think, because um, he Swords danced up again. So, yeah, Forge is definitely, like, gonna be uh, probably one of my switchins if Marowak died. Um, but luckily, he didn't miss that Stone Edge, and I got a nice burn on it. So. Unfortunately, though, if it came down to that, he could probably, like, keep Swords dancing up and probably take one Moonblast, but I don't think he could take two. Since, uh, you know, Flora just has really good special attack. Uh, even though Frizion has really good special defense as well, but it should be able to do a kill. 
So he brings in Gligar. I'm just going to go into Rotom, and unfortunately he subs to you. I was hoping to maybe get a Wisp off on it, maybe Grassy MZ as well. So I'm just going to go into my Scavalier, and uh, I was expecting it to maybe be like Toxic Earthquake, stuff like that. I don't know. With Sub and Roost. But uh, he turns out to be Knockoff and gets rid of my Ban, so that was pretty unfortunate. I was hoping to maybe get rid of it to Violites right there, but he's just going to switch out into Blastoise, which always gives me a free switch into my Melodic, honestly. But nice chip damage on Blastoise. Even though the band is gone, it does decent damage, and uh, Burn racks up some chip damage as well. So he actually switches into Espeon right here. Nice double, predicting me to switch out into the Melodic. So that gives him pretty much some free leeway to go for maybe a Trick, maybe a free hit with Psychic, Dazzling Gleam. Uh, even though I do have the Drapion as an easy switch in, if he is going to Calm Mind up, that could be a big problem, especially if he's Fairy MZ. But I was thinking the Vrizion would be the Z move. Like, usually Vrizion's are Z move. So he does go for the Calm Mind right there. I'm kind of praying he's not Fairy MZ because it will just like cleanly knock out Drapion, like 100% if he is. But luckily he's not, and he just throws off the Dazzling Gleam. So maybe I have to try that out. A Fairy MZ Espeon. Because it could one shot a banded Drapion, but sometimes Drapion could be Choice Scarf, could be a Soul Vest. So you got to be careful with that. I don't know if. Um, you know, you have to be pretty lucky to run into a banner one, which I always like to run because it's just nice power. So it brings us into Rotom. I can easily switch into my Marowak to utterly just wall the crap out of this thing. Uh, he could throw off some overheats, but he'll lower his special attack, and I could take those for days, and I have leftovers, so. Yeah, it's not going to be looking too good for the Rotom. Unless he has, like, hidden power, I don't know, water, ground, something I can hit, Marowak, rock. But usually Rotom have, like, maybe ice, stuff like that. Overheats, full switch, Thunderbolt, Defog, Wisp. Maybe Toxic or Pain Split. Those are like the most common moves. So, Blastoise comes in. Uh, he can easily just throw off a Dark Pulse, uh, but maybe he can predict me to switch out and go for a Rap Spin, but I'm just going to go into my road and predict him to want to go for a Dark Pulse as he does do that. Kind of hoping he won't throw off a random Ice Beam. I don't think he would, since I can easily just switch into Melodic again. So, Rotom kind of threatens the Blastoise. I can just throw off a Full Switch, so he decides to just sack the Blastoise right there, which is very awesome for me. Uh, I can also keep maybe my Grass MZ for later for something. So, uh, potentially the Gligar, if I can get rid of the Violet. So, bringing the Scavalier as he brings in the Rotom. I just wanted Rotom to potentially come out because it will take Stealth Rock damage and I can bring back Mirwak and get some more leftovers. That was pretty much the plan. So, he actually has Defog on this, so I was like, oh, okay, cool. Maybe he didn't have Rapid Spin on Blastoise. Maybe he did. He has Defog and Rapid Spin, so that's cool. Gets rid of my Rocks right there. He turns out to be leftovers, which is good information. I wasn't too sure if he was Choice Scarf. Uh, if you'll specs. So now I know Drapion outspeeds it, and I can go for maybe a, an Aqua Tail and knock him out, which is very nice to know. And then I can Aqua Tail the Gligar as well, so very useful information. I'm just going to throw off a knockoff, maybe get rid of the leftovers, but he does switch into Gligar, get rid of that Violite, which is very, very nice. Now, uh, Scavalier would do a lot more damage than Iron Head, but um, I was too scared to get knocked off over here, uh, potentially. So I wanted to go back into Scavalier, but he just goes for the substitute. I was thinking about going for Wisp, but he outspeeds me, so there's no point. He can just get the free substitute off and dodge that Wisp easily. So uh, he has that Roost right there. That's going to be a little bit annoying because he can just keep Roosting. But I should be able to win this battle because, well, you know, Scavalier versus Gligar because um, Iron Head should do a lot of damage uh, with the Violet gone. But he's still going to try it out. And... It's not really going to look too good for him because he's just going to keep losing HP every time he substitutes. He can roost, but you'll see how much the Iron Head does with the uh, with the uh, roost. It doesn't do too much, though. It does, like, around how much roost does. So um, when that happens, I am going to switch out and try and burn it with uh, one of my Pokemon, like Rotom with a Wisp. Maybe try and knock it out with a Grass EMZ as well. So he is going to throw off the, the uh, roost right there. And also, I do want to burn it first because... Uh, Maybe he can, you know, knock off my Drapion, get rid of the band, and just be annoying. So, I just want that residual damage, because maybe I would need that nice little chip to uh, potentially two-shot it with, like, an Aqua Tail or something, or even Iron Head. So, I was just trying to test out the water, see how much Iron Head does, and it does a decent amount, but it's not doing as much as I would like. Uh, so now I switch into Rotom over here, picking the want to go for a Roost, like I said, and I'm just going to throw off the Wisp, and hopefully I don't miss, and as he goes for a sub or something like that. Or potentially even switches out. Maybe he goes back in a Rotom Heat. So, over here I decided to just throw off the Grass MZ because I was like, alright, maybe I can one-shot it. I don't think I calc that. I was just like, let's just go for it and hope that it gets knocked out. Without a Violet, maybe it can. Uh, but, unfortunately, it does not knock it out. So, Gligar is so dang bulky. That annoying Gligar. Uh, it does a decent amount, though. If I just had a little bit more chip. Maybe if I switched out with a Scavalier on the first Roost, I could potentially have knocked it out. I stayed in again and tried to iron head it, but oh well. 
So now I just throw off the Wisp, pick up that nice residual damage, and then I'm just going to switch, I think, right back into a Scavalier or maybe Drapion, one of those two. And I'm going to try and, like, Iron Head again. Or actually, I think I'm going to Drapion and try and just Aqua Tail, since I was, like, getting tired of it, and I just wanted to outspeed this Gligar, and Aqua Tail does do a decent amount, even though I could miss Aqua Tail, uh, which could be bad. But I was pretty confident that I can potentially just take on the Gligar, since he doesn't have Earthquake, which is nice. Since I remember last time I think I played him, he had Earthquake on it, and I had a Bronzong, and I told him that that his set was walled by Bronzong, because he had Earthquake, Toxic, Sub, and Roost, and he couldn't touch Bronzong, because, you know, Bronzong has Levitate, so I guess he changed it to Knock Off, since it can hit pretty much everything in the tier, but it doesn't do too much, so. Gonna go for the Aqua Tail again as uh, I break the Sub, and he goes for a Roost, and that does so much damage. Uh, he goes for another Roost right there, just trying to hang on, but it's not looking too good for him. I'm just going to Aqua Tail him and I think knock him out over here. And then the Rotom Meat should be able to get knocked out by the Aqua Tail, which is nice. And uh, I think his last Pokemon gets destroyed as well by, like, Drapion. Whatever, I, I wanted to go for him. Yeah, Linoon. And Linoon is actually faster than me, I remember. He is running max speed, which is interesting. I usually run Adamant, and I think he wasn't even running this good HP. Like, he wasn't running, uh, you know, the right H EVs or IVs on his HP. Basically, you want to hit 50% of your HP when you go for the Belly Drum so that you can get the uh, Pinch Berry, as he has Gluttony, so he should be getting, getting it, and uh, potentially that could have been a problem, but uh, E-Speed does do a lot of damage to a lot of my Pokemon, but at the same time, he would have took a bunch from Octail. I think he, he might have even got one-shotted by Bandit on Octail, <laughs> since Lightning is so frail. So, yeah, that was pretty awesome for me. And a plus Floor just might even just live one, since Floor is so dang bulky with his defense. Unless, um... I'm forgetting for, for, if Floor just uh, got weakened this game, which I don't think it did. Uh, since Virizion, like, I wished up on it and Moonblasted it and knocked it out. So, I'm just going to switch into Marowak on the Rotom and uh, just beat it down with Knockoff because it can't do much at all. He's just going to maybe try and crit me with Overheats, but it's not looking like a win at all. Like, it's just over. So, pretty awesome that this team uh, pulled up two wins. And I think I have one more game with it, but I'm running, I think, Mega Sceptile on that team, which... Uh, I wouldn't use ever against somebody since it's banned, but I remember uh, he telling me, him telling me that he wanted me to use it against him because he wanted a challenge. I was like, all right, I mean, if you really wanted it to happen, I'll do it. So, um, I wouldn't recommend using a or telling your opponent to use Mega Sceptile in an RU game because that boy is powerful with Modest. I was running Modest Mega Sceptile because it has a really good speed here in RU. I kind of miss it too, to be honest. Even though a lot of people wanted to be banned because it's so good, so yeah, here's Caleb. I was gonna, I was using Mega Sceptile since he said he wanted me to, and it just destroys his team. Even though he does have a floor, just uh, can easily take a hit. But since uh, if I can maybe weaken it with Stealth Rocks and just the uh, sheer power of Banded Scavalier and Banded Drapion, it should be good to go. Like um, Drapion pretty much goes in on his team, like it literally clicks knock off uh, over and over again. And uh, Floor just doesn't like to switch in on Drapion because it could potentially have Poison Jab and he doesn't know if I'm banded or not. So, and also I do want to try and get that Rhyperior on like an Aqua Tail play as well. So, I'm going to lead off with Marowak. Uh, he could have Shadow Ball on the Roserade. I ran into that once before. That could be scary, but he leads off with the Floor, uh, not the Floor, the Fortress as I'm just going to throw off a Fire Punch. That barely 2 it KOs it, which is insane because that's four times weak to it. I guess he's maybe running max defense, I don't know, but... I mean, this Marowak is, you know, not running Thick Club, it's not running any attack EVs, but dang, that's four times a week, and I'm stabbed, but oh well. Uh, we get our hazards up right here. Uh, he gets toxic, toxic Spike up, which doesn't really matter, since I have a Grounded Poison type, which is Drapion, and that's not really going to do too much. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to knock him out over here. If he got a Spike up, that could be a problem. That would pretty much be maybe forced to go for a Defog. I might even be inclined to just Defog again. I just wanted to get Rocks up, maybe chip away at something as he brings in the Blastoise, so, um, I can easily just switch into Melodic over here, but I do want to get rid of the Toxic Spike first, so, he could probably just throw off a Dark Pulse, like, that's what I'm thinking, he's just gonna throw off a Dark Pulse. Uh, he could maybe predict me into Melodic and go for a Toxic, but Drapion will cover that as well. So, I didn't want Melodic getting that Toxic, because that could be really bad, so, and if it means Drapion getting knocked out, I will take it, because Melodic is probably, like, one of the best, uh, Pokemon to have on your team, healthy and you don't want that thing getting weakened ever uh to the point where they can break through your team so 
gonna go into floor just over here on the Blastoise because I was hoping to maybe just defog away the rocks and then I can maybe get the rocks up later. He goes for the Water Pulse right there. Take it pretty well. Maybe I'll be forced to go for a Wish actually over here. Uh, because Forge is kind of low, I don't like to keep it low. He goes for a Rapspin, which I kind of expected as well, since, you know, Blastoise always has Rapspin, so. Um, I throw off the Wish first, and I think I go for a Defog after. I'm pretty sure, since Blastoise shouldn't be able to knock me out with anything. Maybe for the Crit Water Pulse. Maybe. But, I doubt it, since Forge just has insane special defense. So he actually switches out the Blastoise over here into um the his own floor just maybe hoping to land a toxic off on me which usually fl other floor just like to have so i could be scared out by that but i could maybe predict that and go into my drapeon unless he throws off a nice moon blast and catches me right there uh that'll do a 2 akio on my drapeon which is kind of bad but i can't live one so that could be good so i'm gonna go into my wire rack first and if he doesn't want to throw off toxic that's fine i just want to get my rocks up and he does just throw off the toxic which i kind of expected i was thinking about going into drapeon like i said but I was really scared of him throwing off a Moon Blast and just catching it. Because then uh, that could be pretty bad if he uh, catches it again, potentially. So, over here he switches out into his Blastoise again. And Blastoise kind of just like hard walls my Marowak. Unless I was like adamant, thick club, shadow bone. And every time he switches in he'll take it to the head. But I'm just going to get my rocks up over here. And um, he's pretty much kind of forced to maybe expect me to switch out and go for a rap spin. Or I could just throw off a Dark Pulse, but I can maybe predict that. And uh, maybe go right back into Floor Dress, Drapion, but I actually want to go into Sceptile over here. Because I just want to bring this boy in and start hitting hard. So that's exactly what I do. I am just going to go for the Leaf Blade, and I'm just going to... Uh, not Leaf Blade. Uh, Leaf Storm. He gets a crit right there, which is unfortunate. I was thinking about actually running a Swords Dance on Sceptile, which doesn't really hit as hard. But I'd rather just use Modest. And they are here, but too bad you can't use it anymore. But yeah, he actually stays in over here, I guess, uh, thinking that he can take a hit. I don't know, maybe expecting me to overpredict, but yeah, that was a really, uh, just like, he could have went the floor just maybe and taken a hit. That was not a good play on his part. I don't really understand him staying in right there. I guess maybe predicting me to, switch, to uh, predict him to switch out, and I go for something else. But Leaf Storm was just the, the freest Leaf Storm ever, uh, even though he does have a Roserade. So he brings in Glow Spot. I do not want to take a first impression at all. So I'm just going to go into Melodic, pretty easy switching. He could have spikes on the Gliscon, Glispot, but uh, he might have just have spikes on the Fortress. So he might just be like three hazards, rapid spin on Fortress, maybe. Or maybe even Volt Switch or Explosion. So maybe the Glispot is just four attacks as well, maybe even Bulk Up. So that first impression does do a lot of damage, but I could easily just throw off a Recover, and I, uh, he's Life Blorb as well, so... He's pretty much going to knock himself out. Like, there's not much he can really do. He does have the knockoff, though, so getting rid of my uh, leftovers is really important. Because now I might not be able to switch in on a lot of hits that he goes for. He actually goes for the Aqua Jet right there, uh, getting himself the first, well, not the first impression, the emergency exit as a nice switch. And he's going to go right back into floor just. So he probably wants to throw off maybe a Toxic on me. Uh, just so that maybe he can break through with the Spot. But. I wanted to throw off a Scald right there because I wanted to get that emergency exit myself. Maybe I should have recovered, recovered right there. Uh, I was kind of a mishap on my part because I should have just kept that full and let himself knock himself out with the Life Orb. So now over here I'm going to go and Drapion predicting to want to go for a Toxic. Also my Drapion was weak and so I didn't want to switch it in on a Moonblast. So that was a pretty risky play. Maybe I could have gotten knocked out by the Moonblast right there. But I feel like you wouldn't Moonblast when I have... A little Marowak right there, and uh, my Lotic pretty much just like takes it, and I could just easily recover. Maybe he'd expect me to recover right there, so he'd want to throw off a Toxic. So he brings in Rhyperior, Roid Mama, and I predict him and go for that Aqua Tail, man. I love predicting these uh, uh, ground types and just go for an Aqua Tail, like the Steelix earlier, and now the Rhyperior, and down it goes. Solid Rock is not going to save you because I'm banded, and you're four times weak to water, so get out of there. So that was a huge turn right there, get rid of that Rhyperior. Brings in a Rose Raid. Do not want to take, uh, I mean, Drapion could take uh, anything really except for Hidden Power Fire, I guess. So I'm just going to go into Marowak right there. Maybe he has Hidden Power Ground, but he looks like he doesn't. He has Life Orb, though, so that's good to know. Probably like Sentences, for three attacks. Uh, Marowak should be able to take it unless he's Shadow Ball. Like I said, I ran into Shadow Ball before uh, on Rose Raid. So here's the Shadow Ball right here <laughs> with the Rose Raid. And I think I do get knocked out. Yeah, I do get knocked out, so... That's a pretty cool tech that he had. I don't know if he just ran that for the Alolan Marowak or what, 
But hey, kudos to him. I like that a lot. That Shadow Ball on the Roserade, because it just caught me off, really off guard. But now I can bring him a Drapion and just throw off a Poison Jab. He doesn't have two Ghost Switches at all, since Rhyperior is gone, and I can pretty much just like claim some lives right now. So down goes the Roserade. In comes Glosspot. He can First Impression and knock me out right here. But he's going to take Rocks, and he's going to take Life Orb. So yeah, Glosspot is going to take so much damage. So even though I do like Life Orb, Glosspot, got to be careful with the hazards, uh, always weakening itself. So, just gonna go into Floor just and take that man like a champ, because I predict him to go for a first impression. If he did go for Liquidation, that could be a problem, but uh, luckily he didn't. Um, I got that prediction correct right there. So, now I can predict him to probably go for a Liquidation, as uh, he actually just throws off the Aqua Chat. I knew I could live one Liquidation, so I just wanted to stay in and uh, go for... I, I could have went for a Wish right there, but I guess I just went for a Moon Blast to speed up the process, really. But the safest play will probably go into uh, Melodic. Even though Melodic does take a chunk from it, uh, it was weakened, but I am faster than the Gold Spot, and I can probably just recover. Unless I get knocked out by Liquidation, or actually, maybe he might go for Leech Life and predict me to switch out. That could have been a possibility, since Gold Spot could run that. So, I guess Floor just was uh, staying in there was maybe the correct play, because I'm pretty sure I could live at Liquidation, because I was max defense, like I said. So, he brings in Floor just right there. I'm just going to go into a Scavalier, and I can just throw off an Iron Head, Banded Iron Head, and should be able to one shot the Floor just. Which is pretty awesome. We always like that nice hard hitting steel types for these bulky fairy types. And that should be GG. He just goes for the Moonblast. He could have hit a power fire, but I'll live it because the Scavalier is so bulky. I feel like a lot of steel bug types always live these HP fires, man. Uh, even even though probably Scizor is the only one that would probably go one shot, but maybe for not stab. But uh, yeah, Scavalier is really, really bulky and in Fortress as well. So GG to Caleb. Mega Sceptile did get that nice KO, but it didn't really do too much, honestly. Uh, the other Pokemon really shined a lot. Like, Drapion really shined these three games. I really like Drapion a lot. So, yeah, GG to Smasher and Kevin. And hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do your old thing. And I guess the comment question of the day is, uh, I don't know, what is your favorite Pursuit Trapper? Maybe my favorite Pursuit Trapper is a Fast Pursuit Trapper, like a Weavile or a Sneasel. I like Fast ones because they can Pursuit Trap a lot more than uh, slower ones, like Spiritomb. Drapion's average, I would say, average speed. It's really nice, and I like the Poison Dark types, because they're immune to, you know, Psychic, and it just stops Fairy from being, being super effective, so a little Muck and Drapion are really, really nice as well. I like those guys a lot, especially in Draft League. But, yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do your thing, and comment a question. Yeah, I already said that. So, peace, peace.